Okay, we are here. The ceremony is done. I got a tattoo. Hello, hi you guys. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new to my channel, hi Makangsha. In a today's vlog, you read the title correct. We are going to attend a wedding today and I thought I'll vlog. I'm not sure if I'll vlog the wedding part because I'm not sure how comfortable like the couple will be. Right when I'm vlogging, somebody's in the bathroom making noise. Anyways, we are in Miami. So I actually landed in Miami when I first came to US, but that day we just had to like drive back to Tampa because that's where my sister lives and we do not have time to like see Tampa. So after that, this is when I like, you know, came back. And today, you know, I just like took a shower. So I have to get ready, then go attend the wedding. And there's like, you know, multiple things to do uh, today. So I thought I'll vlog it for, uh, you know, you guys. So I just took bath. I have my sister here getting ready so we are in an airbnb uh, we are actually from the groom side i don't know if you guys remember um, i posted this vlog where like the proposal video so the, the couple which who got engaged that time are getting married now it's a very low-key wedding uh, they're just like you know five to ten uh, people my sister is here getting ready there's only one washroom in this 2bhk and we are like seven people so all of us have to like take shower and there's only one mirror which is in the washroom so i have to like do my hair do my makeup everything i just ordered breakfast for myself because i was hungry i ordered coffee this coffee is so good this is basically iced vanilla almond milk latte from starbucks you should definitely try this one out i really like this then i ordered some like you know what you call sandwich type of so also none of them were hang angry hungry <laughs> so um yeah let's go attend my not my wedding <laughs> I'm not getting married. My sister's friend is getting uh, married. So by the way, this is the dress I'm going to be wearing. I'm also shooting a reel because I mean, why not? I've not been posting like good, a lot of productive content, but I'm trying to film things on the go wherever I'm doing. I don't want to like waste it. It's all, always a constant pressure. I feel every creator has that when you're doing something and you don't film it, it's like I'm missing out on so much content, but Anyway, the wedding is at uh, 2 o'clock. I've been up since like 9 o'clock. So I have more like one hour to get ready and start. And these people are not vacating the washroom. I, because it easily take me half an hour to do my hair. Then half an hour to do my makeup. So right now I have to start getting ready. But first, I'll have my coffee. Food. Food, first. Food first, yes. So since a lot of years I stopped having coffee but since I came to US I got used to it so much. I, I tried so much to quit it and I finally did and I rarely used to have coffee but now since I'm here and I'm again so used to having it and I always used to have hot coffee that mainly but since um, New York again I don't know why I started having cold coffee. It was so cold there but still I was having cold coffee. Now I'm just used to iced coffee. Okay, so the washroom is full and I have no time to waste because there are a lot of people taking showers and there's only one mirror but I figured out a way to get ready. So my Dyson is ready. My makeup is here. I'm going to do my hair in the TV because that's the best I can do at this moment. So Dysoning my entire hair, like Dysoning, Dysoning like I mean curling the entire hair using the Dyson like hair wrap. I mean, no, not the no. Dysoning the entire hair. Dysoning only. So it takes so much time. So what I've been doing generally is also because I don't want that much volume. I've like straightened, blow dry straightened this part of hair and only like the fronts have been curling. And it's it looks good but today I wanted to do the entire thing but it'll take so much time and I don't think we have time. I did the entire thing. She did the entire thing. <sighs> Done finally. I got the room space in the washroom. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, hair is done. Makeup time. Look at the <laughs> how big my mirror is. So big. I can't, I can't imagine I have such a big mirror to get ready in. <laughs> so then my sister all ready. Now she'll make, she'll hurry me that I'm okay. We're ready, we're in the car, we're already running pretty late. 
What is the time? Now four and a half. One thirty. I think we took marriage. And we have like forty minutes drive, so we have to like run. It's one thirty, and the wedding is at two o'clock. It's forty minutes. But this is what I'm wearing. I thought I'll show you like the entire thing. Probably after going there, I can show you. My sister is wearing pink. I'm wearing blue. It literally is like gender reveal because he's again wearing pink, blue, and one more guy is also wearing blue. Almost three. Yeah, the bridge. I, how how long does it take? Sometimes it will take thirty to forty-five minutes. What? Because they'll pass several boats will pass through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
the coffee, the breakfast. This is our still. This is all I. They didn't have plain croissant, so I had to get like filling. This is like pizza. Pizza. Yeah, huh? pizza and something. something. टॉप इन जीन नॉट कैरिंग एनी थिंग फॉर द बीच बिकॉज वी डेंट रियली प्लान और थिंग दैट विल गो टू अ बीच We just came for the wedding, and we just came for two days. I got these shorts yesterday because after decided, like we decided that we are going to stay, but then they're so tight, <laughs> I have to return it and buy something else. But this is the O T D for today. Also, it was so cold in Miami yesterday. Usually, Miami is not cold. It's you know, it's a beach area, and it's always like properly a normal temperature. But yesterday was so cold, and we had to like wear jackets and all. And like it was around like fifteen degrees last night. Say fifteen. 16 so today it's actually sunny really nice and sunny so i don't think i'll need a um jacket so let's go we are for lunch i begged my sister to come with me so she's here she has work but i said like you know one hour you can take break so we're in this cute place called maxine's bistro and bar it's right like next to our hotel it's basically our hotel restaurant it's really cute so I, we also have like free drinks here like 6 to 7 every day if you're like staying in catalina so today yesterday we missed out because we checked in pretty late but today We are going to have the free drink. This is the place. It's never killed, never killed nobody. They are like really pretty. Thank you. So today is a Monday, and my sister doesn't eat meat. It's so difficult, like for vegetarians to travel. I feel because, like, my sister even like two days she doesn't eat meat, and those two days we are going out. It's so difficult for her to like like anything or eat anything because you're so used to like having chicken at least and everything. So she ordered something. I ordered a drink at one o'clock in the afternoon because why not? We are in Miami, so. Say hi. It looks very yummy. She ordered her veg pasta. My chicken grilled. My spicy mango margarita. It's literally so hot, so spicy, like chili chili. Going to the beach now because in the night you can't go to the beach here. You have to like only go in the afternoon. And right now it's like quite sunny, so I want to go to the beach. Entire this left side, the stretch is completely like you can walk that side and like beyond that is the beach. But like the happening streets, according to my sister, are like nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Last night also we went to like the ninth or tenth street. There was like a place called Mangoes. It was like a nice bar. Like there was dancers and everything. It was pretty much. Fun, not pretty much fun. Pretty fun. Holding a camera makes vlogging so obvious. Once you're like talking and walking, everybody looks at you. But I like this walking and like you know doing things. I like Miami. I like Miami also because like you can walk and go. We're staying like in a place called Collins Avenue, so this is like an entire, you know, proper tourist spot and happening still like right by the beach. Oh my god the beach is so pretty you guys i fell in love that's the reason i extended my stay look how beautiful the water like you know so blue reminds me of andaman only reminds me of andaman because that's like one of the most beautiful beaches i've seen the next is this Everybody 
always like taking a dip i really want to go out to but i don't have the appropriate clothes or somebody to take care of my things like once i go probably dip in the ocean like what if somebody steals my phone and bag and it Uh, I was sitting on the beach and I was just like chilling by myself and then I realized I want to get a tattoo. I wanted to get one tattoo for sure in the US but to remember like my first international trip, first time coming to US, like you know a lot of firsts so I wanted like to get a tattoo and I'm in Miami, I'm like why not get a tattoo here so that I can remember this trip by and like the entire everything by itself. So I did call a tattoo studio the reviews were nice i did ask for uh, an appointment i have it in 10 minutes but it's a little expensive it's like 80 dollar for like you know one small tattoo like this or like this so not really sure if i want to like spend so much go get a tattoo i think for 80 dollars <sighs> in india i can get like four tattoos with 80 dollars i think so that's why i'm like should i i really want to do i just told them what i want i filled my form so they said it's like approximately 80 i'm in a studio called salvage tattoo studio salvation sorry not salvation salvation tattoo lounge all right this is the one this is the one <laughs> i know it you're patient right yeah as long as it comes out well i'm cool with it yay no why smudge oh my god this. <laughs> Usually the third time is the charm. Masi, is this a, a, like you God asked me not to get one? <laughs> so you have a picky pattern on this, that's why. <laughs> Do you want to play in my vlog? Do you mind? Yeah, sure. What's your name? My name is Caesar. I'm a tattoo artist from Miami, Florida. I've got a little yeah. over here. Salvation know. Tattoo Studio. Salvation Tattoo Lounge. <laughs> Usually, I swear by the third time, that's it. Yeah. I'm good. So, you are trying to get the placement of the tattoo right. And, and then, this is like something I wanted to change since a while because, like, there's a backstory to it, and you know, I will tell you like the meaning of it later. So, like, it's gone wrong seven times. I'm like, God, are you like, you know, are you telling me it's a sign? Like, are you giving me a sign? I don't think you did it for like a biggest tattoo as well. <laughs> you got three at a time, just in case. I burned it, I burned it, I burned it. Ah. Ah. Got it. Yeah, baby. Yes. I got a tattoo. I will go show my sister. She does not know I got one. Like she had an idea that I had it in mind, but she didn't know. She does not know that I went ahead. I got one. I just like came out of the room. I told her I'm going to go to the beach, but I got my tattoo. My actually my camera died. Actually my memory card got full, so I could not like record more in the studio. Oh my god, I got one after ages. So I actually stopped getting tattoos when I started my laser. So I wanted to like get one every year of my 20s. But I did not get when I'm 23 because I was like going through um, laser and you cannot really do laser if you have like tattoos in that spot. So I was like, you know, getting my arms and everything done. So I couldn't, I stopped like doing uh, 
uh, tattoo I got like once I'm done with my laser I will go ahead and do it but now I'm like in the US and I'm like if not now where? She did tattoo a now. నాకు <laughs> 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 అప్పటి నుంచి నేను చెయ్యి ఇట్లా ఇక్కడ నుంచి అడుగు పోయినప్పుడు ఇట్లా పెట్టుకొని పోయినా నేను చెయ్యి బటర్ఫ్లై అది ఇట్స్ లైక్ రెస్టింగ్ ఆన్ దూ చెప్తా మీనింగ్ దర్ ఇస్ అంగ్ బిహైండ్ నో ఐ వాంట్ టు మోడిఫై దిస్ వన్ దట్స్ వై ఇట్ ఇస్ దిస్ okay so this is the tattoo so basically why i got this is you also listen i will tell both of you together okay so listen okay let me show you what i got now what is before so if you don't know uh, this was what i had before and i got the butterfly now so this one is uh, the first tattoo i ever got uh, i was like 19 i think when i got this tattoo and i really like how it looks um, but then i wanted to like alter it since a while now because you know multiple reasons and also it's all, i'm not like you know the same person as i was when i was 19 right like i've evolved i've grown a lot and that's what kind of a butterfly symbolizes as uh, uh, well so like butterfly you know kind of it's a caterpillar first then it like evolves and becomes like a beautiful butterfly right and like it even you know it, it has a lot of sig- significance like it has femininity it has a lot of different attachments um you know a butterfly basically means a lot of different things so you know it's like a new me but also very feminine and i wanted to like alter this tattoo and get something which is you know not this and that's the reason i got like a butterfly is like resting on the arrow and a lot of people always ask me what is the meaning of this tattoo as well so this tattoo when i got it first done like i got it back in pune and i wanted like three different tattoos so together we mixed and we got this one google the meaning of my tattoos because i honestly don't remember it's been so much so many years that i got it done and it has like so many different meanings that I, even i often forget it and then i google it i'm like oh i remember why i got it um so like you know that like i told you there are like three things together so this triangle this like transcend uh, means like do not stop exploring so that's what i so everything has like different meanings a lot of people take the triangle and that for like christianity a lot of stability but the one i this one this transcend for me was for like do not stop exploring and then this looks like a arrow right like the entire thing so like the arrow represents uh, uh like a lot of strength struggle victory like it has a lot of different meanings um again and this like viking symbol is known for like creating your own reality and now so the butterfly just is like a cherry on the top to you know evolving and like be- becoming a better version of what you are so i really like how it came out i wanted it like it's sitting on the arrow and అంటే ఆల్వేస్ హ్యాడ్ దిస్ ఇష్యూ దట్ ఇట్స్ టూ లో ఈ టాటూ ఇక్కడ నుంచి స్టార్ట్ కాలేదు ఇక్కడ ఇదంతా ఖాళీ ప్లేస్ నాకు నచ్చకపోతుండే అసలు సో ఐ వాంట్ టు గెట్ సంథింగ్ దమ్ దే ఐమ్ బియోర్ ఇంత ఖుషి ఖుషి ఆయన తెలుసా టాటూ ఇప్పించుకున్నా ఇట్ వాస్ సో ఐ పేడ్ లైక్ సిక్స్ థౌసండ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఓకే సో ఆల్ సెట్ to go out i'm wearing this cute top wearing the same pa- i mean you guys didn't see the pants but i wore these pants yesterday as well but i have no other pants just have a jeans which is not going with this other than that i have this pants so i'm just like wearing this uh, top 
these pants. We're going out for the night. My sister is done with her work. It's almost 7 o'clock. I'm trying to upload a video. Once that's done, we'll go. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. We'll just go somewhere to eat and like we'll hop around. And that's it for the vlog. I'll try to add clips here if I do get of what I'm doing tonight. But I do want to end the vlog because I always forget to end the vlogs. So if you see like before bits and me talking here while ending the vlog, just know why. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys, uh, you know, are liking the vlog. So if you like this video, then make sure like, share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video.